Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you. They are all extremely high in protein, really healthy, whole food, but we're getting some sweet treats, a really good breakfast, and a lunch. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a meal prep every Monday and I upload five videos a week. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot stress enough how important it is to know this information so you can be successful in weight loss and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts, to all my favorite things, my recipe website, where you'll find today's recipes and all of my recipes, as well as my Facebook group, we would love to have you come join us over there, are all down in that description box. So we have three amazing recipes to do packed with protein, so let's jump in. breakfast this week, I am making chocolate chia protein pudding. I have been craving chia pudding, and this is a great way to not only get in all the healthy fats of chia seeds, but lots and lots and lots of protein. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some protein powder. We're doing a chocolate protein pudding, so chocolate powder would be ideal. My recommendation for you would be to use the Devotion Brownie Batter. That is the best for this recipe. However, I'm trying to use up my integrated nutrition, and then I will be purchasing the Devotion Brownie Batter, but I would recommend that. You can use any chocolate protein powder you have on hand. I will link Devotion Nutrition down below for you with 10% off. You'll need some milk. I I'm using Fairlife milk because it has 13 grams of protein in one cup. Now you can use almond milk, but almond milk doesn't have any protein. So for me, it's all about adding as much protein as I can to my meal. So I always opt for Fairlife. I am going to add some of the Lakanto granulated monk fruit sweetener just to add a little bit of extra sweetness. This particular protein powder isn't that sweet. So for me, I want to add a little bit of sweetener. Now, if you go with the devotion, it's probably sweet enough. You'll just have to play around with it and decide what works best for you. You'll need some chia seeds, of course, mason jars. These are the perfect size for this recipe. I bought mine off of Amazon, so I'll link them down below for you. Vanilla extract and some cocoa powder. Oh, and I'll put Lakanto in the description box as well with 15% off. So let's make some chocolate chia pudding. So to make our chia protein pudding, it is actually super, super easy. I am going to add one half of a cup of Fairlife milk to the bottom of a jar. This particular protein powder, two scoops is a serving, but I'm going to do one scoop per jar. One eighth of a cup of chia seeds. So this is a quarter cup. So we're going to do half of that, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, about a half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of my Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. So here is what it looks like before we mix it all together. I'm going to pop my lid on and give it a good shake. You can also whisk it together, but this generally works to get everything combined. And then our chia pudding goes in the fridge for about two to three hours until it's set. The chia seeds become gelatinous with liquid, so it's going to be a nice, thick, protein-packed pudding. Let's go ahead and make up a few more for the week. So here is our chocolate protein chia pudding. I went ahead and made up three jars. That way I can enjoy them for about three days this next week. And I'll have something else for breakfast the other days. That way I don't get tired of the same breakfast every day. But this is just such a great way to get in lots of protein, healthy fat. I will go ahead and put points calories and grams of protein here on the screen for you. And remember, it is going to change depending on the ingredients that you use, whether you use Fairlife milk, almond milk, what protein powder you use, but this is a great way to start off your day. So I also wanna mention one more thing about the pudding. You can top this with whatever you want. So some recommendations would be sliced up banana, you could do chocolate chips, you can add peanut butter. So my plan is, is to put about a tablespoon of the American Dream nut butter in here because I love 
love American Dream Nut Butter and that just gives it more protein, more healthy fats. You could top it with your favorite fruit. It is endless what you can add to your chocolate protein chia pudding. I also will link American Dream Nut Butter for you with 10% off. Definitely excited to change up the toppings on this throughout the week. For lunch today, I am making blackened shrimp meal prep. We're going to pair this with a healthy carb as well as some veggies. I'm really excited for this. It has been a while since I've had shrimp or any type of seafood in meal prep. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You'll need some oil of your choice for the veggies. I'm using avocado oil, salt and pepper. These are my favorite gravity fed salt and pepper grinders from Amazon, affordable. I'll link them for you. So many of you have purchased them and are loving them as much as I do. You'll also need some salsa. I'm going to roast in my oven some green beans. That's going to be my veggie. Some fresh cilantro, a healthy carb. So the original the original recipe calls for brown rice, but I'm going to do this quinoa with sea salt. This is from the brand Ancient Grain or Ancient Harvest. I'm going to pop this in my microwave. It's 90 seconds and it's done. So it's super easy and convenient and quinoa is such a great complex superfood carb. So that's going to be a nice addition to the meal prep. You'll also need some shrimp and a fresh lime. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice up my green beans, basically trim them up. I'm going to pop them in a bowl so we can season them and then slice up some fresh cilantro. So I went ahead and sliced up my green beans. They were actually going bad. I picked these up a couple weeks ago and wanted to use them before they went to waste. So I did slice up all of the ones that were salvageable in the bag. So I am going to put in about a tablespoon of oil. And then we're testing out this Green Goddess seasoning. A lot of you reached out in the comment section of my grocery haul and said that it's really good. So I'm super excited. And then I'm going to add salt and pepper and mix it all together. and then put them out on this quarter sheet pan. I have my oven preheating to about 425 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the green beans. So I removed the tails from my shrimp. I just threw them in the same bowl that the green beans were in and now we're going to season them up, starting with salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add in some cumin, onion powder, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. You can also add in some chili powder if you want that more blackened vibe where it's a little bit more spicy. I just decided not to do that because you guys know I don't really love spice. So I'm going to, again, just like I did with the green beans, mix this up and get the shrimp coated. I have a skillet heating up over medium heat. We're going to add in our shrimp. Shrimp cooks really quickly, so we're going to allow this to cook completely through. Look at how delicious this shrimp looks. It smells incredible. I am going to undercook them just a little bit because I am going to warm them up during the week for my meal prep and I don't want them to get overcooked because they get kind of rubbery. So we're going to go ahead and take them off of the heat and start assembling the meal prep. So I just took the quinoa out of the microwave. That was the easiest quinoa I've ever made. I did actually get these from Imperfect Foods. I don't know if they sell these in regular grocery stores, but another thing I wanted to point out is this has 15 grams of protein, which is amazing. So you could use regular quinoa, you could use white rice, brown rice, cauliflower rice, whatever you would like. I will link Imperfect Foods down below for you guys as well with a discount on your first order. So I'm going to just kind of mix that quinoa, get it separated a little bit. It's smells really good. It's quinoa with sea salt. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of chopped cilantro. And then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze in a fresh lime. And then mix that all together. Now you have cilantro, lime, quinoa, or again, whatever rice or rice alternative you decide to use. 
This looks and smells incredible. So the green beans are just about done roasting. So I went ahead and pulled out four of my little two ounce portion cups. Again, off of Amazon, I'll link them for you. And what I'm going to do is add some salsa to these portion cups because I want to be able to heat up my meal prep before I eat it. And I don't know about you, but I'm not the biggest fan of warm salsa. So I'm going to set the little containers in my meal prep container. And then once I warm it up each day, I can add my salsa set right on top. I'm using my two compartment meal prep containers. These are the ones that I share all the time. Also off of Amazon, you can see that I shop on Amazon a lot. So I'll put these down below for you as well. First thing I'm going to do is add in my shrimp. Now it makes four servings total. So my recommendation would be to count your shrimp, divide the number of shrimp that you have by four. It's about seven shrimp per meal prep container. And then you're going to divide your rice by four as well. I'm going to finish my shrimp and quinoa in each of my meal prep containers and then we'll add in our green beans and our salsa. The green beans look so delicious. So I'm just going to divide those up into the small compartment of each of the four meal preps. Oh my gosh, these look so delicious. Look at that. With the shrimp, the quinoa, the green beans. Last step is to put in our little container of salsa. So I'm just going to add that in to the compartment with the green beans. And like I said, we'll pull it out before we actually warm it up each day so we have a nice cold salsa. You could also add guacamole, fresh avocado, sour cream. I mean, you could, you could also add a sauce to your shrimp if you wanted, whether that be cocktail sauce or tartar sauce or whatever you prefer. I'm really excited about this. It is a perfect protein packed, healthy fat lunch. I mean, this is the trifecta for lunch. We have a nice, lean, low calorie, low point protein. Quinoa, which is a superfood. This also has a ton of protein, healthy fats. We have a veggie with some added healthy fat of the oil and then some extra veggies with the salsa. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and protein grams here on the screen for you. For sweet treat this week, I am making peanut butter protein cookies. I'm really, really excited to have these as well this week. It's going to be a perfect sweet treat that's packed with protein, just the way I like it. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need salt and vanilla extract. You'll need any protein powder of your choice. I'm going to use my Ghost Chips Ahoy. Actually, if you have the Ghost Nutter Butter, that would be amazing in this recipe because it would add some extra peanut butter flavor, but this one is really, really good for baking. I will link Ghost down below for you. And again, this is the Chips Ahoy. You'll need some unsweetened coconut flakes. You'll also need quick cook oats. The only quick cook oats I have are steel cut, so we're going to use those. Some honey, some PB2, unsweetened applesauce, and cocoa powder. So the first thing we're going to do is put the peanut butter mixture into a saucepan. So I have half of a cup of powdered peanut peanut butter, and then I'm going to add water to make peanut butter consistency. So I'm going to do about a quarter cup of water, one quarter cup unsweetened applesauce, one quarter cup honey, and just a little bit of salt, and we're going to get this on the stove top. We're going to put our saucepan over medium heat and stir until everything is melted and well combined. Now we're going to add in vanilla extract, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and a scoop of our Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder, and mix that all together. Then we're adding in one cup of our quick cook oats and give it another stir. Go ahead and turn off your heat before adding in your coconut. Last but not least, one quarter cup of unsweetened coconut. Give that mixture one more stir before we're ready to form it into our cookies. Look at how delicious this looks. It smells like a no-bake cookie. Line a baking sheet with some parchment paper and then I'm using a cookie scoop. It's about a tablespoon. We want one tablespoon or so of the mixture per cookie and we're going to just drop that onto the baking sheet. to 
take the back of a spoon and just press them down just a little bit so that it's more of a cookie shape. Remember how I said these smell like a no-bake cookie? That's basically what we've made, just packed with protein. So I'm going to throw these in the refrigerator. You wanna let them set until they've hardened, just like a no-bake cookie. One hour later. So I just pulled the protein peanut butter cookies out of the freezer. They are all set. They do look just like a no-bake cookie. They smell like a no-bake cookie. I ended up with 14. Your points are going to vary based on the number of cookies that you end up with, and of course, whatever protein powder you use. But I will go ahead and put my points calories and protein here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget you will find them on my recipe website along with all of the other recipes that I've created here on my channel. You'll find that in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, we'd love to have you come join our Facebook group. We are 22,000 members strong and growing and it's just a really great supportive place to be to ask questions and get inspiration. So definitely come and join us there. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. And thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. And I'll see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye.